Hi, welcome back to my channel. It is finally December. The last time I uploaded a video was last month. I'm not sure, but I am going to start trying to do a what's sold in this month type of video every month. So here we are. This is going to be a what's sold in the month of November. In the month of November, I did not go thrifting not once. So it was like a no thrift November challenge for me, but it wasn't really a challenge because I actually haven't thrifted in a couple months. I know, crazy. But with that being said, I actually broke my record, I guess I can call it, for the most sales in a month. The last time I made close to this much was a last year in April. I made about $600 in April last year, but in November this year, I made a little bit over $700. And keep in mind, it's not all of my money because I do sell stuff for my coworkers, for friends, for family, all of that. So let's just get into it. I'm gonna show you guys what I sold on Poshmark first and then what I sold on Mercari. And if you see me looking down at my phone, it's because I have all of my photos of what I sold sold so yeah the first thing that I sold on Poshmark for the month of November were these like Nintendo vans that my boyfriend got me I think it was back in like hmm maybe it was last year for my birthday I really wanted some high top white shoes for California when we went there for my birthday I found these and he actually bought them off of Mercari and then I was able to sell them on Poshmark a year later for the same price so he didn't lose out that's pretty nice next up I sold a Michael Kors wallet it's brand new it had the dust bag the tags everything and this item was actually my manager at work so she got about like $50 for this so so next we have this free people dress and it's actually wool. I was very, very confused on this dress when I saw it at the store. I think I bought it close to last year. It might have been the beginning of this year or something like that. But I could not find a stock photo for it. I posted it on Instagram. Nobody else could really find a stock photo for it. And I had it listed for like $65, but I was sending out really low offers on it anytime someone liked it. So someone finally sent me an offer of 25 and I was like, okay, like I'll just go for it. I was like on a roll with sales in November. So I was like, okay, I don't wanna like not accept it. And then my sales come to a halt. I honestly now believe after coming out of November with that many sales that like once you make a sell for that day, you're gonna get a little bit more traffic. And I don't know if, it, if this is true, but that's just from my experience how it kind of worked for me. I'd get a sell and then I'd get a couple more likes and usually in one day, if I got one sell, I got another sell, so. Yeah. We have these J. Crew shorts in a bundle. I actually had like four pairs of them. These aren't mine again. These are for someone else that I sold for. And there were four of them, but I sold these last two in a little bundle and she bought them outright, so that's pretty nice. Next up is a bundle that I sold together. It has this Crofton Barrow blue shirt. Then a little bundle pack that I had already created in a listing and the brand is Cloud Chaser. It comes with two shirts and then this tank top of good time. So she got four items and the bundle sold for 25. So I only got $20 for it, but fun fact, none of the items in this bundle were mine. They're actually my friends. And then the other item is a lady who I used to babysit for. And then next up we have this swim top, which I thought was like super crazy that someone bought a swim top for me, but I looked at the address and it's someone in Florida, so I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, I sold it for $5. There's gonna be a couple low price sales in here, but you just gotta let some things go, you know? I didn't personally buy this. This was given to me. So when things are given to me, I don't really care. $2 is a $2 profit. I'll take it. That is a polar pop in Arizona. We have these Nike joggers. These were actually my boyfriend's. I sold them for $20 and I think I got like a three star rating for them, but they didn't tell me why they rated that. I asked, no response. So how to just let it go. Oh. And then we have this Marvel shirt that I sold. My boyfriend got it for me and I don't know, I just didn't wear it a lot. And he actually has a shirt too that I have listed on my account. 
and it's like a Doctor Strange shirt that he bought for himself as well, but we just really didn't wear it too much. We try to go through our closet consistently to make sure, you know, we're not just sitting on things we're not wearing. Oh boy, this jacket. This jacket was so hard for me to give up, you guys. I personally bought this online for like $160. I did buy it with a couple other things. I actually bought it with this coffee mug. That's funny. But the thing is, is his company did not design or create this jacket. It comes with a completely different like company tag on it. And when you move, oh, it was so frustrating when you would move in it. I know that like windbreakers, they kind of make that odd noise when you move, but this jacket was like ridiculous. You'd like poke it and it would just be the loudest thing in the world. So I didn't enjoy that. I didn't like wearing that. The zipper was a little hard to zip up and for $160 I just did not think it was worth it at all. I didn't wear it so I ended up selling it. Recently someone sent me an offer for like $60 and I was like girl bye. I'm sorry. Not sorry kind of but like I wasn't gonna sell it for that low. So someone actually just bought it outright. I was cleaning my house and I went to go check my phone. Opened up Poshmark and I see the notification of like something sold. So I go and look at it <laughs> and I look at my boyfriend and I'm like, someone just bought my jacket. And it was like, I'm happy cause I just got like $130, but like I'm sad because <laughs> it's leaving me now. But oh well, we got some money. These Nike shoes, they're personally mine. I sold them for $50 and I think I got maybe like a three or four star rating. She said she loved them, but there's like a black scuff mark on them. I don't know where, but you know, sometimes we just gotta take L's as these resellers apologize for that issue and just keep it pushing. Then I sold these Lululemon leggings. They've honestly been sitting in my closet for like more than a year. They're not mine. They're for someone else. And yeah, I don't know if I'm calling them by the right name, but it's like Soul Sauna. Um, I don't know. But I thought they were really cute. I sold them for $35 and I personally thought I was gonna end up having to sell them for less because they'd been sitting, but no. A girl sent me a good offer and I accepted. Next up we have this Victoria's Secret like crush velvet kind of jumpsuit. I got it at Plato's Closet during their 90% off sale. So sold it for $12, good profit for me. This was insane too, kind of like my jacket. This isn't mine, sold it for someone else, but I'm not aware of the brand like at all. It's like Izzy, I-Z-Z-Y. -Z I think it might be like a longer name, but Izzy for short, okay? And yeah. It was listed for 90. I had been sending out like 70, $60 offers when people would like it. But same thing, looked at my phone, someone just bought it outright from me. They got it, gave me a five star rating and I was like, okay, cha-ching. Then we have this scarf, same thing, not for me. Actually sold it for the same person that I sold that jacket for. And they actually gave me like a two star rating. I really was taking L's in November, but like, <laughs> My bank account wasn't. Like I said, you gotta just take the L's, apologize for it, and keep it pushing. We have these Puma sweats. They're my boyfriend's. Go boyfriend. He making money. Go boyfriend. I'm making money. Camera's gonna die. We gotta keep it pushing. Next up, a Victoria's Secret tank. It's my friend's, sold it for her. She made some good money too. Then we have these 90 degree leggings. Actually sold these for my coworker. Then we have an anthropology like little top. The name on the tag was Pico. I hope I'm saying that right. P-I-K-O. And then it had like a, a year after, I forgot what the year date was, but yeah. Then we have this free people top dress. I don't know. I bought it off Mercari. It was see-through. Didn't say it was see-through in the description. Couldn't wear it because <laughs> yeah, you're gonna see everything. And on top of that, it was like uneven. Like it did not, I put it on and this part was lower than this part. And I was like, okay, I cannot, this is ridiculous. It was too short. So Mercari just gave it to me. They let the funds go to the buyer and then it just sat in my closet. I never wore it. And so I was like, okay, I need to list this. Listed it. I added in the description that it's like uneven, you know, and it actually sold for 15. So. I made my money back on that. Well, I got it for free first off, so I made all profit. 
Next up are these misguided shorts. I sold them for $5 because I went through my inventory sheet on my computer of all the things that I bought last year that still have not sold. And if they don't sell by the end of December, I'm going to take them to Plato's Closet and try to sell them and make my money back that way. But I relisted them for really low prices again on Poshmark and they're actually selling. Next up is this scarf. It's not mine, sold for $6. Then we have this shirt sold for full asking price and this is actually the sell that put me to $10,000. And we have this top. The brand is Pleon. I don't know if I said it right. P-L-E-I-O-N-E, -I, -E, I believe. And I had it listed for over a year. That's why it sold for $6 because I listed it again for a really low price. But when I relisted it this time, I realized that it's an anthropology brand and I'm like, okay, it probably would have sold like earlier for a little bit more, but you know, you gotta take them out sometimes. We have an Arizona Cardinal shirt that just randomly sold for full asking price. I didn't think it would. It's a Warner shirt. I'll take it. Then we have this free people dress. It took me forever to try and find the stock photo. I personally didn't find it. Someone off Instagram did. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much. And I had it listed for like $65, but I really didn't care what it sold for. So someone sent me 30 and I just automatically accepted it. I'm saying you guys, if you see something in my closet, send me an offer, you never know, because I really price things so that I have like a huge little gap, huge little gap. <laughs> for offers. Next up, this was my jacket from Ohio State, but it was an XXL, girl. It did not fit me, but I like to wear it in the house. <laughs> but I recently got a sweater that actually fits me, so I sold it. Next up are these H&M jeans, and they're actually really cute. They have like a really frayed hem at the bottom, and yeah, I sold these in a bundle. They are Clark's. We have this mink pink dress and a Romeo and Juliet dress. And I actually had a case opened on this due to the Clarks because it was missing this little clasp on the shoe, but Poshmark ruled in my favor and I got my payment. Lastly was this Phoenix Suns shirt that my boyfriend had sold. I sold it for him and I took all the photos, but he gets the money. What a life. And that's it for Poshmark. So if my camera dies, it dies. Okay, next up are all my sales for the month of November on Mercari. I listed these vans on Mercari and on Poshmark, but they sold same day in a couple minutes. Full asking price on Mercari. Then we have this Jones New York blazer, which is an item that I bought last year, relisted it, and it sold, I listed it at night and it sold the next day in the morning. This misguided top is also an item that I bought last year, so that's why it sold for $8. So next up are these three tanks that I sold in a bundle listing. My boyfriend's mom just gives me a bunch of clothes to sell and this is a result of that. The trash is here. They're picking up my trash, if you can hear that. Then we have this little blazer and like pant suit kind of thing. This is actually my friend's and sold it for her, so she's making bank. I sold my boyfriend's Cortez's and I actually sold another pair of his too. So we have these red, white, and blue ones and I actually sold these beige ones as well for the same price. Next up is this sweater that I bought early this year actually and I was like, okay, I made a mistake buying this. It's not moving, no one's liking it. And I relisted it and it sold the next day. Oh, and that's it. So for all of that, Let's add it up. With Poshmark and Mercari all together, I made a total of $838.35. So almost $1,000 in one month of reselling. Mind you, it is not all mine. A big portion goes to a bunch of other people. I made about half of that personally myself. And with all that, I also hit a huge milestone of $10,000 in sales on Poshmark. So. November was a really, really good year for me. What? <laughs> November was a really good month for me. And also with November, it marks two years of me reselling on Poshmark and Mercari. So I was really trying to push it in November. I really wanted to hit these goals and I did it. I'm so proud. Thank you guys for everything. If you purchase something for me, 
for me. If you purchase something from me, why can't I talk? <laughs> and you're watching this, I appreciate you so much. If you're just watching this, I appreciate you so much for watching this. But yeah, that's it. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below, subscribe, and make sure you hit press lightly dab on the bell so that you get notified when I upload. Ugh, I hate this. It's like when someone wears pants and they have one long pant leg and then like one pulled up. Better.